Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekend mystic affirmations for February 25th through February 27th. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And if you'd like a little extra something, uh, you can check out my podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom is available on all podcast platforms. So here we go. Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Very beautiful combination. This is coming through the battle victorious. This usually means something you've been at for a long time trying to win this over. And you're finally in the place where you see the victory. And you're in a place of being recognized and being seen as the front runner or head and shoulders above the rest. So very nice energy here. And we go right into the Seven of Pentacles, which is the energy of being very much in a place of the fruit being on the vine, ripening as we speak. Just keep tending to it and allow yourself to uh, wait it out because it's worth it. If you don't wait for the right timing, it, it won't be available in the, in the right way. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, the Fool, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, you had the Fool as your second cut card, which is the energy of releasing the old without any strings attached and moving right into the next cycle. Very smooth transition and w seamlessly and without anything hanging over you later. Remember, this is our energy of manifestation in this reading. We use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention to be absolutely relentlessly optimistic and positively positive to create our best possible life now. That's the energy of this reading. And here we go. Seven of Swords, this is walking away from what no longer serves you, leaving it behind you and going forward into your future to create what you want to create. It can be giving two weeks notice and, and changing jobs. It can be packing and moving because you're changing location. It means change if you didn't pick up on that. <laughs> So that's the energy of even letting go of things when we have, you know, own items that are holding us kind of in their energy, be, keeping us trapped if we're too cluttered or just things that are no longer useful to us. This is letting go of old habits and old relationships that no longer fit. So we grow past people sometimes, especially when we're the energy of spiritual growth. It's everybody on their own page here. You know, everybody's got their own pace. So don't be afraid to leave behind what doesn't serve you because what's ahead of you are new things and new opportunities. Affluence. I choose to be debt-free and live an affluent and healthy life. So some of you may be leaving some debt behind. They may be able to get past that. You paid it off and now it's time to move forward. That's a beautiful energy. So affluence is there. I love being debt free. One day I'll be all the way debt free. I love it when I pay something off. Non-attachment. This is the really perfect little hand in hand. I am certain that I will reach my goal. While letting go of how it will happen. It's not saying what goal. It's, it could be any goal. Living your best possible life now can be your goal. And I recommend that because it means that all other things come into alignment. If you're living your best possible life, everything's in alignment. So that's a very strong affirmation and I use it all the time. And I say it as though it has already happened. Thank you universe. Now that I am living my best possible life now. You see, I'm putting now on it, so it, it can renew itself each time I say it. From that moment to the next, whatever's changed, best possible version of the next thing. It doesn't mean negative things won't happen, 
but we're asking for them to happen in the least negative way. So let it be the best possible circumstance, whatever it may be. Life is not a guarantee of happy all the time. We have to make our best and go through it. Peaceful resolution. So this is a very solid energy for whatever issue has come up. It will reach a peaceful resolution. And this is the Angel Answers Oracle cards. We'll go into our affirmation cards. Our, our energy of the sacred geometry of awakening. Our little alignments here. The activation of our sacred geometry. Belief. This is one of my favorite cards because it is totally in the frequency of the truth that your belief is what supports your sense of self-worth based on your gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. Your belief is the key and your faith is the thing that anchors it. What you believe to be true in your life is true for you. It doesn't matter who, what anybody else believes. Only what you believe. Now, you can't believe other people's stuff. Right, you can't change their circumstance by what you believe. But what you believe for yourself is what we're talking about here. What you believe about yourself and, and what's possible in your life. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. This is having a positive self-image. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me and so it is. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. This is the Louise Hay Power Thought cards. And I just love them because they were the first real intention setting cards I got. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. This is one I really anchored to. I took this car. I had a, I have a magnet of it. And I used to have it, you know, those cubicles with the metal uh, cubbies up above. I had a magnet. I would stick it right to the face of the cubby uh, wherever I worked. And that is each moment of the day is special to me as I follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart. I am at peace with my work. Sorry, with my world and affairs. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. Each moment of the day is special to me. As I realize following, sorry, don't know why I threw real, there's no realize in there. I do this, you guys. Because <laughs> I'm getting like the words shoved in. Each moment of the day is special to me as I follow higher instincts and listen to my heart. I am at peace with my world and affairs. So it's really hard not to let the my guides slip words in as I read this. So that's it's part of the thing that happens. They 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 get to throw words in. So that's the energy of being deeply fulfilled by all that I do. That's that's the main phrase of it. Just say that that's true and it's true for you and it will begin to change the experience that you're having because your belief changed. Rather than being, you know, being in the place of I hate my job and because that's different. Now you're in the negative. Just say this and it will pull you into a place of where you need to be. There's an offer. So this looks like a job change for somebody because this page of Pentacles, she's the princess of Pentacles in this deck, but it essentially is the page of Pentacles. So she's offering a financial commitment here. Financial offer coming in. The victory. This usually means you're the front runner for the position or being selected for the position because you are the candidate of choice. You have the experience and you've done the work to get you here. And we That's the second time we've seen that card. And the Knight of Pentacles is the money is already set in motion. He is the courier, so he's bringing this energy of, of the abundance that's being offered. So, many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful weekend. I send you lots of love, abundance, peace, happiness, and joy, and prosperity to you all. Much, 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 much deserved. I'll see you on Monday. Namaste, my friends.